Let's let's get back to EULCS, then we'll take a break, and then we'll we'll talk about Meteos's uh, beautiful beautiful body, um, and 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 then we can wrap up the show. So, uh, what other teams have been heading in a in a bad direction, Ram? Uh, Young you mentioned Buck, Gambit. Young Buck going zero and four before 10, 20 minutes in like two games in a row. Mm. Yeah, they actually sounds- managed. They actually managed to win one, but. Um, they're one and three. Gambit going zero and four. I had a guy called Veteran. You know Veteran. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we want to get him on the show. Actually. We do. His exact quote, and Sky's gonna love this because I'm, I'm gonna need a really big mm, like because it's gonna be it's gonna be going in, right? So, all right, all right, all right, so, so he's gonna he's about to go in. All right, he's, he's about to go in. So, so Veteran. All right. all right, you ready? All right. So Veteran. All right. All right. Is exa- mm. And his quote was. Mm-hmm. So Leviathan, Gambit's coach, went and took Gambit and turned him from a team with a great pick band to this piece of mm. shit. Ooh! Oh! Oh, is that, a, is that on Reddit or something? <laughs> oh! <coughs> you can't say that. Well, is he it did. on Reddit? No. Um, just, it wasn't on Reddit. But um, Gambit's... It's very it, it's it's true. Like it's I would agree with him to to some extent. Is that people um, are like so fucked up in, in <laughs> yeah, they're so mean. Mm. Oh, ah, sorry, my um a dog that I live with just came back and I am so happy. Oh, come no, here. No, no, that, that, that's fine. We 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 understand uh, that that these things are certainly better than EU else. <laughs> so, uh, so 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 Gambit Gambit's big <gasps> band actually has severely deteriorated since the LCS started. I uh, yeah, but I think it's a real shame, man. They look great out at IEM. Yeah, I think Pino is you know really strong. You know, uh, uh, Cabochard, uh I I think is you know a very very solid top laner. They they've got lots of things to like about as a team. They shouldn't be uh, zero and four in no. my opinion. They're a much better team than that. Um, it looks really bad for Gambit right now, but again, two weeks in, um, things are starting to, I, I wouldn't say normalize because it is EU LCS and literally anything can fucking happen in this shit show that we call LCS. Um, mm. Damn. like elements can beat Fnatic. Fucking Gambit might take out a shotgun and shoot Rockets manager in the face. I don't know. Like <laughs> it's EU LCS. Um, it's just that. Things. Hi, Red Blarg. Sorry, somebody said hi in the chat. I got to say hi to him. <laughs> so, um, all right, besides Gambit, Copenhagen Wolves don't look too hot. One and three. H2K, yeah. one and three or two and two? They're two and two. They're two and two. Yeah. Uh, H2K, two and two. Um, pretty eh first week, but second week looked a lot better. SK, 4-0. Mm. Freaking Fnatic, 4-0. That is going to be the big match to watch, SK versus Fnatic. And since we have absolutely no one who understands anything about League, we're not really going to talk about that future match. Um, yeah. There isn't really much else to talk about EU LCS. I'm trying to think. Uh, well, surely, surely we've got to mention our, our good Corey. friends at Rockat. Corey. Corey. We'll, we'll, we'll come with Corey after the break, yeah. but I, I just want to talk a little bit about Rockat only winning once. Yep. Rockat didn't yeah, look too hot. That sounds tragic. Well, no, it, it, it is, Sky, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you as to why. Uh, okay. Well, I, I absolutely will. Uh, Rockat uh, were, were considered one of the kind of you know dark horses, if you like. Um, uh, to to be challenging, you know, top four kind of slots, and you know we have their manager on fly quite often on the show. He's very intelligent, articulate, funny guy. Um, we all like the players; they always handle themselves really well. In fact, you know, they always say the same thing whenever we have them on the show. They're like, "Wow, those rock cut guys are a, a great bunch." I'm going to follow them and cheer for them in the the LCS. Um, and and we were thinking actually, a yeah, rock cut are going to do really well. And it just hasn't happened for them. I mean, the game that they won was awful. And, uh, you know, the losses, obviously, uh, more so. And uh, they're a much better team than what they're showing right now. So, Ram, I'd have to ask you, well, hey. what's what's gone wrong, given all that we know about Rocker? Uh One last quack for Nuke Deck. And maybe he'll stop buying Medjai's on fucking LeBlanc. Uh, no, I don't you know. Can't, you can't put the blame all on Erlen. No, no, no. It's not, it's not even his fault. Um, like, it, it seems that their pick ban is in some ways it can be a little bit questionable like in the game versus SK why would they pick LeBlanc into Kassadin when that's a good matchup for Kassadin that's just like one example but it feels like they just make too many mistakes and when they make the mistakes in the early in the early game um holy shit Nuke Duck the fuck is he doing 
He gets he gets really mad when anybody talks about him. He's really insecure that way. Um, it feels like when they make the mistakes in the game, they get really passive mm. and they let the other team walk all over them, which is why the Elements versus Rocket game took like 80 minutes to finish. It's just mm-hmm. like an example. Um, one and three, not a good start. Um, I don't know who they play this week, but uh, we'll have to figure that out. But it, it, I, they need to fix something because their coach is actually really smart. Ducky knows what he's doing, and they have yep. the right support staff. And by all means, they have the right roster to do it. They have Yankos, they have Vander. Like, these are great players. This guy has no idea who I'm talking about. Like, yeah, Vander. I like have him. literally no idea what's happening right now. Oh, uh, one, one of them's cute. Don't worry. Um, oh, okay. Well, then, for that, oh, perfect. <laughs> um, they should be doing a lot better than they are right now. And we'll have to see more in the upcoming weeks if they start meshing together better. Because they were also the, the people that... A lot of the teams that a lot of people thought would win IM Cologne. Um, and they disappointingly lost to CLG. Kind of crumbled after they after yeah. they lost the second game. Uh, so I love CLG. Just because you nice. know who they are. <laughs> so here, here's what we're gonna do then. Uh, you know, oh, that, I that's, kind of, that, that's kind of our EU uh, L- LCS roundup. Obviously, there's a few other bits of pieces I'm sure we'll talk about uh, after the break, but we will take a five minute break so we can all get hydrated and everything else. Um, after the break, we're going to talk about Corey, the man who left MYM to go to Raw to be out there to get told you can't play for Raw to have to come all the way back to MYM. It's a crazy story. Uh, people don't know the half of it. I'm going to tell you a half of the half of it. I'm going to give you a quarter of the information, and it's going to blow your mind. We'll talk about that after the break. We're also going to do a little rundown uh, on NA LCS, which Sky's going to head up and, and spearhead as our resident expert. Uh, oh, we're going to obviously take a look at Link. People have been uh, critical of him. Indeed, I, I was last night on my other show. Uh, statistically, though, he's, he was in the MVPs of the week. He was the strongest mid laner in NA, statistically speaking, apparently. Uh, that was on the, uh, an infographic, so it must be true. Uh, we're also going to talk uh, <laughs> about uh, our good friend Brandon Beck, who I just told you to email. He's been uh, out at the uh, DICE Summit uh, and was doing a keynote speech out there. And he's talked about some of the problems Riot have faced with what he calls esports overreach. Uh, and he makes some interesting admissions about the way Riot have handled themselves in the past. And some of the things we've talked about on this show that need to control. So I think that's definitely worth having a conversation as well. And of course, finally, a little bit of juicy drama right at the end. Soldra out of gravity. That's their coach. He's out of gravity. Uh, I thought they were doing particularly well. The picks looked particularly good for them. Maybe he fell uh, asleep like he fell asleep for our show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We tried to have him on as a guest. and the fuck <laughs> Just so you know, up. on a stream, St. Vicious said that well, I'm paraphrasing that the only reason they had him was because they needed to have him, and he wasn't really that much. He wasn't really a head coach. Wow, brutal. Ooh, Saint yeah. going in. As Saint going in. Ah, I'm about to tweet him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we will talk about that after the break. We'll be back in five minutes on First Blood. Uh, don't go anywhere. We won't be long.
No, man, don't turn all in on it, you know, like... Uh, well, nah. Hey, welcome back to the dick-sucking show. <laughs> no, you didn't. Sam, Sam, yeah, you I, I'm going like, to let you in on a little fucking quiet. secret. You I'm like, going to let you in like... on a little secret. Countdowns have fucking numbers in them. <laughs> yeah. I said, Countdown. everyone quiet, yeah. streams going low. Three, no, two, no, 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 no man. You said, no, you, no, 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 you said, oh, everyone quiet, streams going live. <laughs> No. And we're like, oh, okay, I guess. Like, <laughs> bruh. That is what happened. Bruh. Bruh. Don't serious? bruh me. That's what you did. Bruh. Oh, my God. Bruh. All right. Welcome back to First Blood. It's the show that we talk about sucking dicks and how to do it. This is what yeah. you get when you don't pay your talent. You get when... shitty talent. Shut the fuck up, Sam. Last we left <laughs> off, we were talking about EU LCS Twerking hard, Sky. 2015. <laughs> yeah. All right, we were talking about EU LCS, and now we're right, going to talk about... Let's, let's, let's move on to NA. Let's do an no, NA no, no, wrap-up. No, 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 I want to no, bring no. Sky in. No, fuck off, dude. We're going to talk about Corey. Yeah, yeah, we'll come to that. No, 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 no fuck you. Thing. We're doing it. No, fuck you. We're doing it now. Why it's are we doing it now? Okay, Because, ramp. because I okay, know... We, I we know can talk right. about Corey. Look, I, I read up on EU LCS, and I heard that, uh, you know, I've got a lot of info. Don't worry. I'm good. Okay, right, so... I Ram, why, you, why don't you, why don't you tell you, us about Corey? No, 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 no. I know you have something. Something yeah, very... But you, you know as well. Come on. I'm not going to fucking say it. It's your job. <laughs> hey, I'm, well, about, I'm about to be contracted to an organization to play League of Legends. I can't be doing this shit. You, no one gives a shit about you. You can fucking do it. It's true. No one. No one does give a shit about me. I, I'm looking forward to slipping into irrelevancy somewhere in the middle of 2015. <laughs> Bruh, I'm, I'm already there. I'm telling you. It's so nice. It's like... If only, if, chill. Yeah, but here's the thing, right? Like, at least you can say, well, you know, other people, you know, they, they did a pretty good job and, you know, they, they, took, they took over and I wasn't really able to, to, to do as many videos. I hear a bit of writer's block. You got excuses. People just straight up are like, yeah, fuck that guy. For, you know, <laughs> fuck Richard Lewis. Look at, you know, it's just fuck him. And that's, hey, that's... If, people, if people really thought that, you wouldn't have 2,700 of your fans watching you, okay? It, people it, it, care. Oh, man, I'm a mother... It should be 27,000. I'm a motherfucking genius. Anyway, okay, let's talk... wow. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded like us a lot. Anyway, <laughs> so do you actually want to go to NA? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Right, let's talk about... No, no, let's, let's do the Cory thing. Let's do the Cory thing. All right, so... Okay, so Ram, why don't you tell me what you know about the situation and then i'll add the richard lewis effect the richard lewis special where yeah you, I'll, I'll i'll go in where you slap your dick thing. on the table and you yeah the big the big journalist so besides the fact that i know that more people on the team actually do want to leave because they don't like the atmosphere Corey basically stood up and said i'm out peace guys and left um the allegations he was going to team roar is correct he was actually in a house in vancouver for a while playing solo queue mm. Uh, doing his, you know, Corey thing, flaming EU in a solo queue. Um, and Who is this guy you are going in on right now? Just don't worry about it. And uh, Roar, oh. Roar didn't, didn't even want to play with him. So what I heard, and I've seen a conversation basically where... Gossip. MYM made a deal with Corey mm -hmm. um, and basically said if he came back to play for them, he wouldn't get banned. All he would do is get fined. And then something about throwing SHC under the bus, or I don't yeah. know. You, you have the full conversation. I only read snippets. Let me of it. let me let me get my Mac out. I feel like CSI or some shit. We're doing some product placement. Like, wait, hey. is SHC the guy who, where my best friend Nick is coaching? No, he used to coach for them. Now he coached. Yeah. he coached Roar over in the states, and that's oh, okay. uh, that's a big reason of why um, uh, Selfie or Corey actually went there. Uh, his name was Selfie before, by the way. Um, and he went there Nick's because the homie. because of Nick, and he 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 claims that Nick is the best coach he ever had. And Nick was yo, Nick is raw. Sorry, you okay? <laughs> Nick, you okay? Yeah. You you okay, Scott? You you good? No, okay, all right. So so here's here's the the long and here's the long and the short of it, right? So for whatever reason, uh, Corey uh, wanted out of MYM. I mean, I I I think. We've kind of seen this before. Corey is, you know, he's a younger player. He's a talented player, but he's also a perfectionist. And we saw uh, from his time back when he was under the uh, alias of Selfie, you know, how he clashed with some other people, you know, like, for example, uh, Impaler and, and whatnot. It was clear they weren't going to get on. And, you know, it was a case of this town ain't big enough for the both of us. Now, when you're the guy who's saying this town ain't big enough for the fucking five of us, <laughs> uh, 
you know, it gets a little bit harder because like, well, there's four dudes over there, you know, like you can't just be all about you. So I, I don't know, I don't know the ins and outs of uh, what what really happened. Uh, why, but but ultimately, I know he wasn't satisfied with the way uh, the team was performing and and their games and how it was playing. So he basically just said fuck this, and he just booked it. He was just out, like you know, I'm done. He pulled a coup. And, he yeah, pulled a yeah. Coup. <laughs> yeah. Well, Koo just literally left the NAP house. Said fuck this, I'm going to Spain. Yeah, he just said fuck this shit, right? So yeah, he then he then decides that he's going to go where there's some fucking you know a bit of scratch, and obviously that's going to be raw. Uh, or he thinks, you know, you get to go out to the challenger scene where he's going to, you know, dominate. You know, obviously you're out there, you know, in, in the North Americas. It's all going to be good. Um, you know, there's a bunch of uh, established uh, players on that team. They've got a coaching infrastructure. You know, Chaos is part of it. It's all looking fine and dandy. So it's quite a tempting offer. And he's got some relationships there and some ties there. So he's going to go out and he's going to join them. But then what happens is MYM. Uh, I mean, and, and I'm not. This, I'm missing a huge chunk out here because this stuff needs to be written down by a journalist. I know there's already a few journalists that have been sitting on this story and waiting to reveal it because it's truly shocking. It really is. And again, in the same way that I'm saying, why does this shit keep happening in esports? It's 2015. This is another example of one of those things. But I ain't going to drop it on air because I don't think it's fair on the journalists uh, that have been oh. digging into this. And I, I ain't a guy to steal their thunder. I, you know, I, I, everybody knows I'm a big proponent of other journalists in the scene, so I'm not going to steal their thunder. So th trust me, this little gap that I'm skipping over is really fucking interesting and kind of shocking. But anyway, they get out. He, he gets out there to be with Raw, and it's all like, hey, y'all, let's all make a super team, and we're going to show everybody. But NYM are like, nah, we've been talking a riot, and because you haven't honored your contract, uh, we're going to refuse to allow you to play for anybody else ever oh, like oh. until the contract expires get fucked get wrecked it's never oh. happening riot back us to one the sec, hilt one on sec this. one sec one sec can we just yeah, get a moment up? can we just get a moment to scott to say oh get him yeah get no, I, I am get oh him. get him get like, oh shit. dude i'm so like i'm so mad that i'm missing all this juicy juicy fucking gossip i need to keep up this is hype this shit is too fucking right. high. So, so they, uh, they basically MYM tell him, and I'm presuming this is true. I don't think MYM have any reason to lie about this particular uh, fact. They say riot back us to the hilt, and you will not be allowed to play for any other team in the LCS or the Challenger for as long as this contract's in place. Damn. So, so and Raw have got problems of their own anyway by this point. You know, Chaos is uh, not getting on with some of the coaches. I think he's got one foot out of the the door. Um, already, I think he's just like, oh, fuck this for a game of soldiers. You know, there's, there's some of the coaches are, are maybe severing ties. So it's a mess anyway. You know, it wouldn't have been, you know, all due respect, I, I got lots of friends on Raw, but it's a fucking mess, and that's just the reality. Well, Inori and, is on that team, so when you know Inori's part of it, then you know something's fucked up. Yeah, well, God! that's 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 you, Ram. That's your, that's your hate. That's Don't not put that, that on that, me. That's not my hate. That's me oh. hearing firsthand experiences on three different teams about the same guy. So, okay. so ah. anyway, uh, I, I don't even think Kenori brings anything to this particular, you know, tragedy comedy. So we get to the next fucking phase, and obviously, what's Corey going to do now? He can't play for anybody else. So he obviously he sits down at the table with the MYM guys, and he says, uh, "You know, fucking, uh, what's up then?" And they go, "Well, you know, we want you back." And they had a stand-in. Uh, what was he called? Uh, the B Blizzard. Ocelot. No, the B Blizzard Freak Would you out stop? Would you just let he looks, him rest? He looks like Ocelot, for fuck's sake. Let the boy rest. Like yes, Ocelot. Ocelot. You can't, Ocelot you can't say up. people. How many times do we have to go over this round? You can't just say people of a particular country all look the same. You can't do that. He's it's Danish. Not... Oh, okay, fuck it. Go on. Uh, so you like... you... Yeah, oh, okay. okay. Now, now it's okay. Oh, no, it's okay. He doesn't look like yeah. us a lot. They're all different. Right? Everybody's different. Everyone's got a different face, Ram. We've got to move past this. All right, okay, so anyway. We, we, um, they, he sits down at the table. I got the, I got the chat in front of me now. I'll, I'll read you some of the juicy bits. Um, for starters, uh, the CEO, uh, a chap called uh, Khaled Naim, wasn't happy at all with uh, Blizzard's performance. He said, uh, I saw him miss nearly every skill shot. When I watched MYM play, 
they start having a back and forth about you know analysis right yeah there. how are we gonna do so let me let me let me scroll down now there's definitely a juicy bit around here where is it uh come on come on richard you should have prepared this i, I didn't prepare this so let me just uh if i control f okay so he says um you know uh Right, so he says that when I was uh, at Raw, Riot had told him that I would be cleared to play, apparently. That's what he'd been told while he was at Raw. And then Khalid Naeem says, yeah, but only if we allow it or release you from the contract. And if we don't, your ass is ours. So, <laughs> but he, he, but he, does a little, he does a little pee after it. He does a little like, hmm. So, oh, okay. okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Was, it, was, it, was it colon pee? He waits. He waits a good five seconds before doing the colon p. Okay. Like so, so you know, maybe it's a joke. Maybe it's friendly. You know. Um, but basically, within 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 this conversation here, uh, he starts basically coaching him on what to say. Uh, he says, um, you know, I will. You know, here's what we're gonna do. You have to tell them this. Uh, I, I will tell you what to say. You post the quotes. And basically, they're they're trying to make it look like there isn't this big drama when there has been a big drama, and there absolutely has. And he he's going to get fined, and it's going to be a big fine, and he's going to have to tolerate the fine. And he and again, he's told that quite explicitly. Um, so, but he's cleared to come back. So MYM have said, you know, you're going to take the fine on the chin. Uh, you're going to roll out this PR statement, which we're going to coach you to say word for word. And we're going to pretend that we didn't do all of the fucked up shit and you didn't do all the fucked up shit. And that the real reason you're coming back is that you can't play for anybody else. And we're all going to be one big happy family again. So there you go. And uh, I don't know if I'm feeling particularly bitter. I might just put the whole chat log up on Twitter. I don't know. I don't know which way I'm going to go with it. But I'll wait, yeah, and, see if, I'll, what, what I'll wait about... and see if some journalists are actually going to do some work. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are. What about the part where they were basically saying uh, them to throw SHC under the bus and say MYM was not involved with any of the shady shit that was? Yeah, happening. yeah, that's in that chat as well. Yeah, just just like he says, you, he says you've got to retract all of this, all of the stuff about MYM and say it was and all. And say it was SHC. all SHC. I think there was a yeah. quote that says. Remember all that stuff that you said about X and Y? Yeah, it was SHC that did that, by the way, not MYM. You need to say that. Yeah, that's that. That literally is exactly what it says in this yeah. chat. So, um, I mean, I think uh, I, I, I think it's a ridiculous situation. Like, here's the thing, though. One of the reasons that I've held off on like going in uh, on on this particular topic is ultimately the player is happy. He yeah. wasn't happy. He wanted to go to Raw. Uh, that was denied him uh, because of contracts. And people know, I, I say you should respect the contracts. I think the player had good reasons to to want to be out the door. He, there's other stuff going on, not just in the team, but in the organization itself. But, you know, they open the door back to him. They've let him come back. He's going to get a fairly sizable fine for it, which I don't know if it'll ever be declared. I don't know if Riot are going to do an announcement and say that he was fined. In fact, it's not clear from that particular chat log whether the fine is coming from Riot or coming from MYM, either way, he's getting financially fucked. But he even says in the chat log at the bottom, I'm so happy. He's happy to be back, apparently. There so, was, there was, there were a couple of XDs in there as well, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lo, uh, you can't uh, forget which, the XDs. That's really well. Important. No, isn't that how? Isn't that how young people these days, uh, you know, say that? It's, yeah, so? it's, it's XD both lowercase, mm. which is like the sarcastic right. laughter. Right. Mm. Oh, really? So that, Wait a minute. Hold on. I might be too old. Hold on. Let me see. XD. Oh, huh. Mm. Yeah, it's two, so, two lowercase XDs. It's like this. I'm writing in the chat. It's like this. Just like double lowercase. Oh, like let this. me see. Sorry, there. XD. Like that. There's a lot of that in the chat. Just just that. Right. Lots of lots of X and lots of Ds. Your favorites. Right, Sky? So um, I've, I've, re I've, re Christ. I've retweeted something from, from someone just now, and I think that'll probably, uh, you know... Um, uh, well, yeah, people can fill in the gaps. 
But anyway, so, you know, this this story is an absolute clusterfuck. It's the long and the short of it. MYM have handled it badly uh, from start to finish. I don't think, uh, you know, the player has handled it particularly well either. It's, 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 it's in, it, you know, when the full story comes out, I think people are going to realize just how embarrassing it is for all parties. And it's no wonder that Riot are kind of like, guys, please, can we... Can we just act professional and pretend this is a sport for five minutes? Can we just do that? <laughs> you know, I, 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 don't, I don't blame them for it, but it's all going to come out. I know, I know, um, Last Shadow, uh, our friend Nick, um, is, is particularly peeved with the way the whole situation was handled. I'm pretty sure he won't stay quiet. That's one of the things I like about him. So trust me, this is a, this is a drama that's been bubbling up under the surface that people don't really know what's been going on. And uh, like I say, I, I've only given you about 25% of it. Like the, the, the devil is in the details, trust me. But that's what's going on there. That's the, great, that's the story of the great Corey. Uh, Ram, did I miss anything out, do you think? No, that's about it. Yeah, good. So, um, right, let's move on. NA LCS, are you ready, Scott? Yeah, I'm so ready. Let's go. There we go. All so right, well give, give me some of that. Drop, drop that information, man. What do you know about NA LCS? Come on, hit, hit me. Wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out, time out. What do you want? Are we talking about like results or just anything? What? I want, gonna, to, I, want to, talk about I want you to talk about the deep strategic knowledge that C9 had over CLG in their game and what ultimately led to the victory of CLG uh, within the team fight that happened 1350 at the Dragon Pit. Oh, yeah, no, of course. Uh, obviously, you know, because... I, it, I, oh, God, it'd be so good if I just knew. Oh, my God, that'd be so funny. No, I don't know the fuck you're talking about. Mate, this, so, yeah, so, so the deep this isn't like Goodwill Hunting. The deep yeah, strategy scene where asshole. you just drop it, drop the knowledge bombs out of it. Yeah, yeah, you just you know. drop everything out. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be like that. But um, so look, let's um, hey. let's talk about some of the the, the talking points that have gone on in in, in this week. And uh, uh, okay, do you want to start with me. Dignitas dropping crumbs and picking up Cloud Nine? Uh, no, well, I think actually we'll we'll rewind. So so let's let's start with Cloud Nine. They've had a real bad right. start uh to, to to this uh particular split they've only won one game obviously that means they've lost three out of the four that they've played people have been saying that they've been struggling and a lot of people have been putting uh the, the reason for their failure on high and saying that it really is time for him to stand down that he's just not what cloud nine need and one of the great things that i love about cloud nine is that despite this being a very ruthless esport you know, they need you need success now. You need it today. If you don't play well, you've got a real short time to turn it around before you get fucking dropped and replaced. Right. Right. And they've stuck by with this lineup for so long. So what I was going to ask you, Sky, given that you're a fan of the team, uh, is it time for Cloud9 to make a change after this bad start? Uh, Jack has been very adamant about not changing his, his roster. And I respect that more than uh, a lot of things, to be honest. I think that's very admirable that that's awesome um but it's just at this point we have to ask ourselves are we a fan of the team winning or have we developed a rich like deep connection with these players you know what i mean like i i'm i'm kind of half and half because they've kept their roster for so long and that's what's made them definitely unique and so i don't think that they should change their roster i i believe that if I believe they just, I mean, just having a tough set. And they're like, they, right now it's difficult for them. I, I, I think that, how do I put this in words? They should not change their roster. No, I don't think, I don't think it's, that's, ne that's a necessity, no. Mm -hmm. That's my stance right there. What about high, though? <laughs> you fucking journalist. Uh, <laughs> and I think that yeah, was. That, it, 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 I think that was. I think, I think that was my exact reaction after seeing high play fizz. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait. You yeah. really? You like that he should be replaced? No, I don't think he should be replaced. Oh. Okay. I was like. I, damn, I'm, I just. Cold. I just think that he had a really bad fizz game against DSM. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean. I mean. Okay. There was a point in time where Medios wasn't doing too hot, but the crowd didn't call to have that boy removed. I'm telling you. I just think that High is just having a rough time. Maybe some. You know, struggles with women. We don't know, you know. Mm. Just, we don't know what's going on in High's life. I say we just let the boy chill for a little bit. He'll be back on his feet, and he'll be everybody's favorite again in no time. I think we just got to ease off, ease off of him a little bit. You know, it's hard. I talked to um, I talked to Bjergsen about this, and it's, it's really, really hard 
I, imagine why League of Legends is so good, right? A big reason why League is good is because when you do something great, when you're the hero, when you're the carry, you've got nine other people watching you. And you're like, oh my god, I feel like a, a, a great player right now, right? In LCS, if you do well, you've got hundreds of thousands of people. And that's the greatest feeling in the world, but the reverse is true, mm. okay? People are probably lighting that boy's Twitter up like, you're ruining the team, get off, I hate you, you know, and all that shit. And it's just, it's just, I don't know, it, it, it might it might get to him, but I, I just, for high, I think he's just having a rough game. He's having a, a, a rough few games and... I hope that he pull. I hope that he pulls it's, through. It's still too early to make decision. That's like the whole genius of it is that it's only two weeks in. Uh, way too early. Yeah, it is way too early. But Cloud Nine have traditionally not done well in the first few weeks, and it, and it's always been high that people were like pointing at. But at Wait, this point, is that true? Yeah, last yeah. last split they 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 lost to fucking Complexity. Like, let's be real here. I was even on that fucking team, and they lost to me. Like, that's a huge disappointment right there. But like no, what, um, I'm, what I'm saying is, is it true that they always just pin focus on high? Yeah, yeah, he's usually the one to take the blame. Um, oh, poor, it's, poor it's, guy. It's always him uh, because he's the team leader. Uh, when they do bad, it's always him. But um, I would say <laughs> it, it would. It, it wait, would. Wait a minute. Wait. Don't, you can't you can't just say that right now. When they do bad, it's always him. Come on, no, 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 no. Yeah, that, 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 that is what people uh, generally oh, that's break what, it oh, down to. Oh, I thought to. you were just yeah, yeah. arbitrarily like, oh yeah, no, when they no, do no, bad, no, I'm no, like, no. bruh. No, 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 bruh, bruh, bruh. Let's let's be real here. Bruh. Um, I would say it would it would be until like week four if the trend continues being complacent right here or started going downward on a downward spiral then I would start to be more concerned about the lineup of C9. But it's week two, um, saying that high should, you know, be replaced if, a little if bit the premature. Lineup changes, if the lineup changes, it's not going to be, it's not going to be Jack kicking someone off. Like, uh, it's, it's going to be the, you know, at the call of the player. I can, I can almost guarantee that. Like, Jack loves those boys like they were his own children. And I don't think that he has the heart or the gall to kick any one of them off. That, again, that could just be me. I could be wrong. But even when he said, I think it was like a year or two ago, and he was like, I don't plan on changing any, like this happened before. Everybody's called for high to get kicked off. But he still even said, I do not plan on changing the roster. I don't plan on straying away from who we have now. And I think he's going to stay true to that because I don't think there really has been another team that has been that adamant about it, you know? I think uh, the, currently the word on the street, funnily enough, uh, and this is, again, coming from my super secret internal sources that give me super accurate information. And, uh, again, I'll qualify this. I haven't been able to verify this. Uh, one of my fellow journalists who recently uh, left eSports, uh, William Turton, uh, reported about uh, Cloud9 had been in prolonged talks with Incarnation, maybe about getting him into coach for this split and stuff like that. Now, everybody I've spoken to in the NA scene uh, has said that Cloud9 have definitely made intimations uh, towards um, Incarnation and getting him involved somehow. And certainly there is talk that Incarnation could be brought into the main roster as a replacement uh, for High, who would stand oh, down at the I end of the I guess things have changed, dude. I... Well, I don't. I don't think necessarily Jacks. Maybe I, I imagine the. I mean, High of course had that uh, collapsed lung and, and everything. You know, recently he's been getting back into it. You know, um, I'm not saying that's impact on his performance now. I'm sure he's fully recovered, but he had to take some time out of the game, and he's he's coming back. And you know, yeah, one bad game doesn't necessarily um, mean that you should cut a player. But I I, I think. I think they'll probably give high this split, and then I think what they're hoping for is that Incarnation's going to get unbanned <laughs> for next split. And I think uh, high, a high seems like such a stand-up guy. I think it'd be the guy who was like, "All right, we're underperforming now. I'm feeling it. I think it's I, I could be partially the reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make way now for you to bring someone else in. I don't think Jack will, will kick them, and and probably they'll look to." maybe recycle high into another role within the organization because that's how Jack operates. That's how Cloud9 operates. Uh, yeah, that's, names, that's what I was trying to say is that I don't think yeah. that it, no, if right. it happens, right. it's not going to be Jack's call. Like Jack's not going to say, you know, all right, so I'm replacing you with 
and you have to move out. No, no, no. Jack is gonna. It's gonna be either High's decision or Jack is gonna try to like, yeah, like you said, recycle him into somewhere else in the company. That, but that's all I was trying to say. Yeah, no, you, you, you're on. You're on the money. I mean, everyone makes a point of you know High's the shot caller and. And, uh, you know, and this is the thing. It's not just that he's been underperforming in lane. Actually, the calls in general have been really bad for Cloud9. And they, they, they do need to make some fundamental changes. I think, you know, it, it, it's quite sad to think of a split where Cloud9 wouldn't be challenging for top spot. I think that would really be sad. I'm, I'm sure they'll pull it together and, and climb up and, and, and get some wins. But um, another name that's been talked about, apparently Cloud9 are keeping tabs on Yasui. Which I isn't would, Yusui in their challenger team though? Yeah. So yeah, but I mean, like you know, they're they you know, can this guy make the step up and wear the crown? You know, uh, if anyone like would move from the challenger to LCS, Yusui is a, a good prospect. Mm. But the problem is basically what what Sky was talking about earlier is that if they change even one person on the roster, the dynamic just changes entirely. Of well, but, okay, for the better and for the worse, because, I, again, I don't know if this is accurate, So, but, of course, I'm saying it on your stream, so Reddit is going to just eat me alive, as they will, oh, but... Hey, and um, anything goes on this stream. I think we've proven that tonight. You, you go well, fucking ham, bro. Anything uh, you say is not going to be dumber than, than anything I can say, so don't worry. No, no, no. Well, that's actually, you, you were right about Fnatic. You, you, someone will make a meme of you, like, you know, on a fucking throne being carried by lots of slaves and everything. You know, fucking confetti rolling down on you and all that shit, man. I think the worst, right. the worst, right. th the worst thing to ever happen to this show. It's like the two worst things is dentists <laughs> not making pictures for us anymore. I know it sucks. And Thorin not hosting the show because the show <laughs> would be much better if Thorin hosted it. It is true. So, uh, uh, Sky, go on. What were you gonna say, man? Uh, I know. I was. I was just gonna say that I know that in the past there has been like a little bit of discord between like Medios and High, and now that if if High is the shot caller. And high is replaced. I think that's going to do co like colossal damage to the team. But in that interaction, it might be better. But for me, I I fear, I fear that um, the brand of Cloud Nine through all of these other roster changes throughout the entire split and through splits in the past and even this one throughout everything they've kept their same roster. I fear that if he does um, change these characters, that the brand is going to have a different meaning. Mm. And I just. I don't know what that's going to do to their fan base, honestly. Like, I mean, TSM has had to withstand a lot of a, a, a lot of roster changes, and people have kind of endured that. I mean, they even had Night Blue as a sub, and that was just there was just a whole bunch of there's just been a whole bunch of drama about roster changes, and Cloud Nine has been stagnant throughout everything. So, do you really think that if they change, that their fans will leave? Because yes. that's important. Without your fans, without your fans, you're nothing. And that's what that's what a lot of people don't recognize is part of playing League of Legends, it, the pro scene, it's not just about being good. Everybody contributes to these people being successful. If you don't have a fan base. Well, yeah, that, you can actually you know be I mean? like, bad. You can actually be bad and be if you're beloved by the community, they'll give you a pass. You can yeah, always, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you could be terrible, but if everyone loves you, then whatever. Like, so that's what that's what I fear is like if Cloud Nine drops high or whatever, or high just leaves. That's that's a pretty big statement. Yeah. Um. So uh, moving on, uh, one of the other stories, uh, an interesting story, I think this week was Gravity. Uh, obviously, the old Team Curse Academy before they took the worst fucking name probably is with one of the worst logos in esports. They really didn't understand <laughs> about the gravity of the LCS. Yeah, well, that's what I said, right? So I, I, I made the point that, you know, gravity, there's a connotation in people's mind that, you know, you, you fall down, gravity pulls you down, pulls you in. And then someone was going, no, man, I'm a physics major and it doesn't work like <laughs> that. Like, what, what it means is if you're at the center, you pull everything into you, man. And I was like... <laughs> Are you fucking being serious right now? Like, I'm talking about the fucking, the layman on the fucking street. Like, you know, if I said, uh, right, word association, gravity, what would uh, you say? Fall. I mean, take a look at the, um, right? the fall, jackets. Drop, it's down. true. It's true. When I think gravity, I'm just like, well, I'm about to fall or I'm going to float. 
yeah. That's yeah, maybe, maybe zero gravity, and you know, you, you float. Yeah, okay, cool. But also as well, like having some little like eight bit spaceship as your logo. Like I don't know what the fuck is going on with with teams these days. Like you know, it's hardly as. I mean, okay, okay, I was. Gonna, <laughs> as if I was thinking that man. I nearly said mm. it's hardly the Washington Redskins. <laughs> Fiend. Yeah, damn. Like, Rich, Fiend. different, different team. Different team. It's hardly the Oakland Raiders, is it, man? You know, like, that's yeah, got a fucking sports. ring to it. We got a good logo. Everything's fucking, I mean, the team shit, <laughs> but <laughs> everything else is on point, right? That, that, that isn't just working for me. But anyway, fuck that. So, the, 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 they go three and one, okay? The team with crusty old Saint in. In the jungle, doing his thing, had one of the worst leasing games I've ever seen in Bro, did you say crusty old fucking Saint Vicious? He knows I love him. He knows I, I was actually <laughs> I was actually, I was actually really concerned for the game where they were playing against Dignitas that it would go mm. on long enough that Saint would miss his nap time. <laughs> you can't you can't call a nigga an adjective that is on a hot pocket box. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can. <laughs> I can do what I want. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they gave right. up. They they kicked their coach. Basically, they they asked their coach to leave. And what we were talking about before. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna come at it. We're gonna come at it. But in game, they're they're playing really well. Is, is the point yeah, I want they are. They are. And Besides, I, I'm I'm surprised because they just come up through Challenger, and they're wrecking people. I wouldn't say really wrecking people. They they're doing good. They're like they're doing good, uh, except for that game versus Dignitas, which was. Mm. Kind of well, it's, I wouldn't say that it was a, a bad game. It wasn't a bad game. It was just really slow. All right, it was a technical game. Boring. It wasn't even yeah. technical because well, they could have right, pushed. I think it was. It they could have pushed. They could have pushed. They could have pushed way more than they did, but oh. they played it really defensive and really slow. And other teams might have punished them for that. But then Crumbs was playing Lee Sin, so it's like we win this game anyway. So like mm -hmm. we we don't really have to try hard. Crumbs is on Lee Sin. Um. <laughs> Oh. Dude, not Wait, nothing from that think... Saint game on leasing. Nothing. That is one of the worst. <laughs> seriously, seriously, I'm gonna. I, someone should make a highlight reel of that. It's like I, I, I love Saint. I've always said it's one of the best things in the world that he's still playing. He's still going on. I love the guy. I think he's hilarious. He always comes in for sticks. He's got a personality. I identify with that. Like the guy's a fucking great guy. Like no doubt about it. But holy fucking shit, that game on Lee was unforgivable. <laughs> it was unforgivably it was bad. bad. It was unforgivable. Bad. Yeah, it literally, boom, that's it. Like, oh, uh, it's like you've got 10 things in the fucking, you know, uh, you know, uh, pro, pro column. Well, the thing and, about... And then just the, the lease in, in the con <laughs> column, and it just eradicates all of that good stuff. It was awful. Yeah. It was fucking awful. Um, it was just, a, it was way slower than it should have been. They could have really pushed, but they ended up coming out ahead. Whatever. Mm. Um, they are playing well. Um, so getting rid of their coach... Saint said on stream that he even just said on Twitter in reply to Sky, do you want to say what he, he tweeted to you? Oh, my boo tweeted at me? Yes. Yeah. yeah, your boo. Let me right. see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. He, uh, sure. he replied, Saint replied to you and said something like, well, I don't think there's anyone that can be a good coach or something in that in that sense. Um, so Ooh. they never they never really considered Soldier a coach. He even said it on stream. They only kind of had him because they need him to be there. Okay, I have an ignorant opinion that I need your help correcting. All right. If